want our customers to stop going to Nathan and if he wants to legitimately not steal customers, here's what I think he needs to do, in my opinion. If I'm a customer and I'm shopping on a website, let's say I'm in here shopping and um, wanting to go through here, I got some things in my cart. I go to check out, you know, I see coupon code and I want to go Google it. But if I were to go to somebody else's website and just go look around over here and look at some of their products that they have, you know, just click on, this is my sister's website now. So I came over to her website and clicked on her website, going to look through some things. If I just look at these things, and go back to my site. I am still their enroller. However, if I come over here and I click buy preferred on her website and I go over here, she is now the enroller. So the clicking the buy preferred or the buy retail tends to be what triggers the change in ambassador number, which if you go and Google Plexus coupon code and I go to his website, I think it's, is it this one? No, that's another one. And click on his website, the link that he has me clicking on to get to his site is the purchase preferred and the purchase retail, which is what is going to trigger the change in ambassadorship. Somehow I got other viruses on his site. Um, so, however, if he had a link that was just straight to his website instead of to the purchase preferred part, what on earth? Um, that would not trigger the change in ambassadorship. So if he wants to legitimately change his site to not tick off every other ambassador in the company, he needs to change how that is being redirected so that he's not stealing customers. I understand in the beginning it may have been accidental, but at this point it's been ongoing for a long time. So I do feel like that needs to change. And that's, that's my opinion why 